Hello Mentors, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how we can create ball bouncing game using MIT App Inventor. So that's the second part of our game. Okay, so let's start. Whenever this ball touch this uh, component, it means image but then we have to visible of that walls. So for that, because that we have created, you can see here, we have created that one list. Okay, so now let's do this. So when ball collide with it means click on this ball and you will find when ball collide with anything then we have to use here a for each loop to get the item okay to get this list okay that one list breaks list that we have created so click on control and you will find here for each this one loop call it here okay and from which list we have to get items we will get only breaks like this okay and we will use here condition to control and if else condition to check the uh, image split value or the bricks value bricks okay so we will use your logic and this one is equal if if the get other it means whenever some wall with collide with other it means image split then which wall we have collided with it means that get item we will get that item okay if get other is get item okay then we will set that item should be off so for that just you will find your any component and you can see here any image split and you will find your set image split visible off you can see here this one uh yes fine that one is fine this one is already changed and the off component so which component we will use your other and to make it false just call it here right now we have to make our game over so for that you can see go to the design whenever we are moving our paddle here right but if I, we are not able to catch this ball so that one ball goes to here okay this will touch that one edge so whenever the ball value should be less than or you can say greater than sorry greater than you can see the y value is 326 and make sure you have to check this value in the runtime. Uh, the value what should uh, this value should be in uh, this age. It means you can see 361. So I'm to make this one uh, 460. Okay. So it means ball goes whenever is less than 460 or 450. Then we will make it game over. Because it means that we are not able. Uh, we haven't catch this ball in this paddle. Okay. So then we will make it game over. Okay. Now. Go to the blog and let's go to the um, maths okay here and you will find your logic this one okay now we will call here one simple thing whenever wall dot h so click on this ball and you find ball dot h reached okay whenever this ball reach the h okay then we will check the condition okay so click on control and you can see if this one we will call this condition here if the ball dot y okay ball dot y this one if ball dot y is greater than okay this should be greater than greater than or equal to the 460 value make sure you have to check this value in the runtime uh, or you can say in the testing time okay what the value should be 460 then we will what we will do set ball dot speed should be zero set ball this one you can see we already have uh, assigned this value this one so we will make it here call it here and we will delete and we will make uh, sorry 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 this one this one and this should be zero okay it means we, we have to stop that ball speed and we will bounce our ball also actually whenever this ball reach the any age it means any range here 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 then we have to bounce this ball also so for that we just need to call your simple method call dot bounce and you will find your call dot bounce this age okay that one is default value and the age we will get the age from here simple okay now ball speed will zero and it means ball will stop then we have to display another screen it means we have to hide this visual uh, virtual arrangement to and we have to uh, here click on layout 
and click on go to arrangement and make this one is also fill parent and make this height is fill parent and make just simple uh, your game over in a button okay or you can say restart restart okay and we will use your one label and that label is something game over game over like this okay now that one is game over and we will make it 20 or 30 like this and click on this board management and make it center and make it center and click on this restart button change this color make it font bold like this and make it 80 now let me just change this background color to pink something now what that one is for game over but what about the whenever someone uh, break or just whenever the all breaks will hide or whenever we win the game so how we can do this so for that we, we what we can do we can do things here like we have to choose one thing that whenever all whenever all breaks will uh, visible off it means we have break all these uh, all these ball okay all these breaks so for that we will use your one simple condition or you can say that let's create one variable okay simple and that one is winning win okay then here and the value i'm to make it here you will find the three four five six breaks okay so i am going to make it six okay and whenever whenever we hide or uh, visible off you can see sad visible false then we will call this value set win value and we will minus this value minus this value it means uh, you will find your minus sign this one and we will get the current win value here and the value should be minus from 1 okay this one minus 1 and every time that ball will collide then we have to check condition okay if 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 the global value it means you can copy paste this one value here and delete this both if the win value get win value is equal to zero oh sorry equal to it means six five four three two one zero okay it means whenever global win value is zero then still we will call here simple you win game it means we have to hide that one vertical arrangement too so for that we will create one procedure okay and in that procedure we will hide game over game over procedure game over procedure and in this game over procedure we will simply call virtual arrangement should be visible of okay this should be false and another vertical arrangement it means vertical arrangement 3 should be on false should be true okay and we will call this procedure two times whenever okay whenever game whenever someone game win and whenever someone will lose their game so with the condition uh, we have game over screen is this one okay this one right so we have to call here but now in that condition we have to change this label also right label one here you can see set label dot text in that condition we will set this game label tag should be okay uh, you loss and in that condition it means whenever you break all that in that condition it means here we will set you win okay simple fine now that is overall game so whenever someone click on this restart button okay it means this button too then what we will do okay so we have to call simple another procedure and we will make it start restart 
re start okay and in that we have to hide vertical arrangement should be false and vertical arrangement should to should be true and we have to call this procedure restart game but in that procedure we have to set uh, that global variable it means that one set when global variable should be should be the value should be 6 again okay like this and one more thing we have to do that our speed should be also this 10 uh, so how we can set this and that set no oh, no no not that not uh, we can set this value should be 10 like this but we have to set this one also that cat speed global speed should be we have because we have to change this variable value also it's in the uh, whenever we start again this should be 10 and we have to enable all the uh, bricks also because all these bricks are disabled okay so for that we will do what we will do we will call here simple for each loop okay and click on this logic sorry control and you will find for each loop this one and which list we have to get and we know that that bricks list we have to get here like this okay and we have to enable all the uh, image spirit should be visible on okay like this of component then get item and this should be true cool so that's the overall game that we have created okay so let me just check this how it's work now so for that let me just make it visible off make it visible on like this and let's see uh make sure uh, have you code for restart game or not button one button one code is we have created no button one speed should be is fine but we have to hide this vertical arrangement too so we have to enable this true okay and we have to hide one thing that one is vertical arrangement one this one is green done in the initial stage we have to change one value and that one is whenever we click on this restart start button button one then we have to set this ball okay the ball is speed not now this should be the heading and the heading should be 90 okay in the initial stage this should be important okay and yeah fine then we have to do it in the one more step whenever we click on the restart here fine i have done one mistake that wall one do not act this should be y okay make sure this should be y so that's the overall game that we have created okay so if you have some doubt you can ask my command and thank you so much for watching this video please please like this video because this game take a lot of effort okay please like this video share this video and subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you have some doubt you can ask my command have a nice day be safe bye bye